Here, inside Calgary's biggest data center, tech companies are powering their cloud services 24-7. So each of these units provide a specific amount of cooling capacity. That sound from the system that keeps dozens of computer servers from overheating. And it's not the only buzz the industry is experiencing. As demand soars for artificial intelligence, so has interest in building data centers like this one. The federal government is keen to see more of them. So is Alberta's. We're going to continue doing uh, work on AI data centers. I've been reading, it seems like a new proposal is popping up every day. But some in the province are hesitant. E-Structure is the company that built this center called Cal2. It was hoping to build another in Rocky View County, but... So your application has been refused. A big reason the county rejected it an uproar from residents. They worried about how much water, power and farmland a neighboring data center would take up. This associate professor of anthropology thinks data centers have a public perception problem. And I think there are many Albertans who are beginning to realize uh, not only the question of where is the power coming from these data centers, but I think the other big question is water. E-Structure is aware of the perception. I think the challenge that the industry has is it gets painted with a broad brush. If you start to peel back the onion, you will see that there are some very high quality operators that care tremendously about sustainability. Hammond says this center keeps its servers cool without any water, relying instead on air cooling. Cold air comes into the front of the equipment, gets sucked in, cooling the circuit, and then that hot air escapes from the back and then gets cycled back. Using little to no water is an important consideration in Alberta, a province prone to droughts. But one expert says air cooling comes with a trade-off. If you are not using water, you are basically using air-based cooling and air-based cooling is less energy efficient. Power is the other big question. The Calgary Centre has enough capacity to power roughly 26,000 homes. Bashir says renewable energy is an option, but even cleaner power might not be able to make up for the overwhelming demand for AI. Um, if you make something more efficient, the net demand for it does not go down, instead it goes up. And that is the case with the um, AI. E-Structure does have approval to build another data center northeast of Calgary. It will be the biggest in the province and host servers for AI. And once up and running, it will use three times more electricity than Cal2. That much workload will require liquid cooling. Instead of water, E-Structure says it will circulate a chemical solution. We believe that the industry shouldn't be painted within a broad brush. And Cal2, where we sit today, is the prime example of that. While E-Structure is optimistic about its future in Alberta, Parrish says data center operators will need to be much more transparent with Albertans about their water and power usage. That's if they expect to get the approvals they need to push their projects forward. Ruxar Ali, CBC News, Calgary.